welcome to our hub identification class we are continuing to identify and to understand deeply on the remedial agencies that god has given unto us in the book of uh, jeremiah chapter 18 and verses 22 we are told that uh, why is your wound so incurable for in vain shall you search for many medicine, but you shall not be cured. O daughter of Zion, go into Gilead and get ye the medicine that God has given unto us. The reason why the diseases are seeming very difficult to treat today is because we have gone away from the plan of God from the very beginning. Men have come out of the systems and gotten into the systems that make them to be very sickly. People don't want to farm anymore. People want to buy food from the groceries. And that is one of the things that makes people very sick. If you want to be healthy, number one, you have to be a farmer growing your foods. We have highly genetically engineered foods that are hovering around and the devil is very skeptic. He wants to kill everyone and to bring everyone under his dominion and then make us to depend on the systems of this world for food, for remedies, uh, for drugs and, and every consolation because he has borrowed false pastors that smoothes our system by saying that peace, peace, peace while the sudden destruction is coming upon us. The only sure way of uh, restoring the system is on the right principles of health, and that is following the laws of health. There is no shortcut about this. There is no shortcut about this. God's way is a sure way. There is a way that seems right unto a man, but the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 16, verses 25, that that way leads to death. So today, God is looking for those who shall teach and educate, for God's people are dying because of lack of knowledge. Are you one of them who will be ready to educate people on uh, good lifestyle programs and practices and fix the minds of people into the Word of God because God sent His Word and healed them? In John chapter 6, verses 63, the Bible says that it is the uh, the spirit that quickeneth, the body profiteth nothing, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Do you find it a good thing to trust in the word of God and teach it and live it? Now we are going to our presentation where we are identifying this common hub that grows everywhere and that is Acacia nilotica or gum arabic trees. We have various types of acacia species of, her, of plants. And uh, remember that during the old time, the Israelites in the wilderness, they used the acacia, um, acacia tree to make, uh, it was used for making some of the furniture because it's a strong tree. And uh, it is also very medicinal, wherein uh, it's used majorly for blood purification. Acacia leaves is very effective for most conditions for diabetes, for ulcers. And we use also the barks in the roots. And so stay tuned and follow up and see its medicinal properties. It is used in the treatment of diarrhea, urinary infections, throat infections, gastric gastritis, tuberculosis and headaches. What you need to do is to use the bark for that condition. Do a decoction of the bark for one pound or one kilo, four liters, soak overnight in the morning. You simmer until it uh, reduced to a half the volume, that is two liters, and take a glass three times a day. The leaf decoction is used orally in febrile convulsions, more so in children. The leaf decoction is used orally in febrile conversions. Its bark is used against tooth decay by inhalation in case of bronchitis and cough. Its bark is used against tooth decay by inhalation in case of bronchitis and, and cough. Sorry for that reputation. 
The roots are used in the treatment of joint and back pain. It's used in curing dysentery and good in curing women disorders, the picos, uh, the dysmenorrhea, the amenorrhea, the uh, inflammation of the birth canal, the STDs, uh, the fibroids, the cyst, and hormonal imbalances. It is a, a broad spectrum half for women disorders. In the treatment of cancer, hypertension, and arthritis, and it's used in blood purification and used for stomach aches. Now that is about acacia. It is found everywhere we are in. Now there is um, testimony of someone who was having cons constant, uh, constant stomach aches and uh, also having ulcers, gastric ulcers. What you did is uh, used a teaspoon a tablespoon, sorry, of, the, of the, the leaf powder in a glass of hot water. Let it steep for 20 minutes and then after it has cooled, taken in. Within three days, the, uh, the problem was gone. The leaves are also beneficial for, uh, for, 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 for treating or uh, re reversing the, the problem of uh, of bone problem. If your bone density is low, like someone is having arthritis, you have to take the tea of the leaves most of the times. It has a high silica and calcium levels that help to strengthen your bones. Um, you also need to use it uh, to use uh, the uh, the leaves for any problem of uh, ulcers intestinal ulcers or even wounds outside the body you just you may use the fermentation of the of the tea or pack the uh, the fresh leaves that are crushed and then mix with marshmallow or flaxseed and apply on the wound and then it will be able to to heal it very fast we use it for massaging broken bones it needs the bones back and uh, uh, that is the leaves. The bark is known for cancer. Taking strong decoction of the bark helps you to eliminate cancer. Alongside the natural remedies that we, uh, the, the, the principles of life that we've been discussing here, that all of this must work together. We don't take one and run with it. We must work jointly and together. That means we must uh, accumulate everything that God has put there in us, the word of God and charity work and uh, confessing our sins and being someone who is studying and trusting in divine power. So uh, that is so wonderful. God bless you. God bless you. Till next time.